Okay, here's what we got going on today. I've got a lemon tree that I, uh, it had late blooms last year. So uh, we had a crop of lemons that didn't ripen uh, when the rest were picked. And we've had very early blooms this year. It is early March and it is, as you can see, this thing here is loaded up with blooms. Trouble is, I've still got quite a few lemons up in the tree. Not many, but they're just difficult to get to. And uh, I need to make something to, to get those. So what I've decided to do is use a chili can to get those lemons. And full disclosure, I actually went and bought this just for the can the size trust me this is gonna work the reason I know it's gonna work because my girl Sadie here said it would Isn't that right Sadie girl we gonna get those lemons that's right Just calm down you're getting way too excited since we're not going to be throwing this at our lemons, we need to remove the top and empty the can. I believe this goes without saying, but just to be safe. Looks like somebody's going to find out how this chili tastes. Okay, and of course, we need to wash it out. I say these things because if I don't mention that, somebody's going to post a question and said, should I wash the can out? Um, I would suggest that you do, and we want to keep the top too. So we're going to wash them out, wash it off, and we're going to remove this paper so all we have is a tin can. Okay, here's everything we're going to need to create our little picker uh got a uh this was convenient for me it's a half inch uh piece of uh pvc it's about five feet long and that's all i need if if you have higher fruit to pick then you need a longer pole of course so use anything to help you get up in there that, that's long enough of course we got our can it's all been cleaned off we've kept our top we're ready to go again as far as can size use something appropriate for the size fruit that you're picking uh, this is big enough for the lemons uh, and to get in between the lemons that's part of it something larger than this would have been a little bit of a problem uh, i've got this a flapper from a, a bottom of a, a pitcher pump i'm just using it as a circle to draw on the can so i'll have a a, a diagram to cut a hole out tape for the hole that I've cut out a bit to get the jigsaw started and a couple of screws to attach the uh, the can to the pole so simply all I'm going to do is place this around the center of the can this is again this doesn't matter just as long as you're close get in there and draw something to help you cut your hole and I would use to get a hole started just get something now I've got easy access to the jigsaw then I'll get the saw going and we'll get this hole cut out I need to note before we start cutting, um, I want the, the top of my picker to be where the can has not been cut out. And at the top point of this can, what I wanna do is leave myself a nice notch. So it looks like one of those cartoon balloons where people are speaking. I wanna leave a, a nice tight notch in there
So when you're all through cutting, you're gonna want something that looks like this. Circle with a notch, a fine notch at the top, with the top being towards the part of the can you did not cut out. Then what we're gonna wanna do next, this is kind of a safety thing, so you don't, get, you don't wanna damage the fruit or cut yourself. So get some electrical tape or tape of sorts and all around where you've just cut out of this can, just get you some tape, do it in sections and make it easy. Just kind of split the, have the tape on the mark, run it around like so and just flip it over and just work that all the way around the can. Just a way where you can rub your finger on it and not get cut. So you get it all taped up. It should look something like that. So I rub my finger all the way around here and not get cut. But we want that part there to be sharp. Now, uh, just uh, drill a couple holes in this so you can attach your pipe. You want on like a, a long shaft with this at the top. So, have something like that. Now, what you'll want to do is the bottom that you've kept. You want to put this back on here and you'll need, it's not going to want to stay, so you'll have to tape it on. But the nice thing about it is if you choose to add a piece of fabric or a sock or something that could extend this, you could pick fruit and it would fall down and catch it or fall down to you. So all uh, this does is give you an option of how you want to uh, deal with the fruit that you're picking. All right, there she is, all finished. Ready to go get it. That's all there is to it. Let's go test it out. Okay, we're back, ready to give it its maiden test flight. And that one up there is pretty obvious. That would be easy, it's all by itself. But I've got a couple in here that are close together. And this demonstrates the whole point of doing it like I did. Just run it up in there. Let that stem get up in the can and pull. And there we go. What it is, the reason I used metal is this is sharp and it helps cut the stem. You, you have it all in one. The other way you can make this is do it with a, um, a some kind of food jug or a piece of four inch PVC or something like that. And this right here, you would use, a, I don't know, you could uh, fix a couple razor blades or a piece of metal uh, riveted to here that you had sharpened off. But to achieve the same thing, you want some help uh, breaking and cutting that stem. So there's our little, I don't know, what'd that take? 10 minutes to make maybe. And uh, now I got chili to eat too. <laughs> anyway, I hope uh, this gives you all some good ideas. Like I said, these nice things about these videos is we put stuff up like this and uh, share it and somebody sees it and says, well, man, I, I know something that could improve that or make it better. And that's great. And then when it's all said and done, uh, we all get to share and enjoy a, a tool or an idea that makes uh, our lives a little bit easier and better. Uh, as usual, uh, Good luck with your projects. And the chili? I don't think so.